Hello, Bulldozer Power fans. I'm Colonel Failure, and you are back with the Electro Sports League and Super Mega Baseball, where Bulldozer Power managed to pull off their first win since the opening week. And uh, it was a big win at that. And that came as a result of the switch up in, uh, in Ego, which has been switched up again. Uh, we've now moved it back up from 45 to 48. If we win this one, we will return to 50. Unless it's a really close game, or unless we lose. Or, or any number of other reasons that we might leave it as it is. Let's go to the next game. Uh, we're going to be taking on the Ocelots, who are 1-6 and six so far this season. Now, Trace Attitude is a little under the weather, uh, but she had that good a week last time around that we're going to leave her in. Uh, both Tintin Hollywood and Veronica Hammock are in very fine spirits in e indeed, and uh, it is uh, Marjorie Spatula, Margot, Margot Spatula, she's using her alternate name, uh, Margot Spatula, who will be leading off the pitching for us today. Stick around and we'll get to the game. Coming at you from Colonial Plaza, it's the Ocelots against Bulldozer Power. And, uh, well, we've, we've got to build on the success of last week because we had success last week. This week, not so much. Uh, opening the batting is herself, Nova Wilde. And uh, she'll be facing Margot Spatula pretty early on. And uh, she doesn't look like she's in a good mood. So uh, maybe it'd be, it would be fortuitous if I were to uh, to let her hit one. But uh, no. There we go. Strike one. Opening with a strike. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good way to start the game. Uh, let's see what we get from this. And that one's gone straight to first base. There we are, and, uh, and a nice uh, tag out there by Tintin Hollywood. And uh, that brings up second at bat, which is Wiley Lancely, which is, has got rather too many syllables to be a good name. Wiley Lance, you see, that's, that's a name that works. And he's hit that one, foul. Let's uh, uh, try the, uh, the, the, the two-finger fastball here. Hoya! Oh, straight through the legs of Margot. And that one's gone up to centre field, where it will be fielded uh, by Veronica Hammock, who's coming off an amazing week last week. It's Alejandro Tannen, uh, who's, uh, oh, look at him, handsome individual that he is. Uh, he's, uh, he's undoubtedly uh, a big favourite amongst the people who like him. That one's a, he, he got a good piece of that as well, and that will get him onto base uh, with uh, whoever was up previously advancing to second. Number 16. With his impressive nose, it's Tyree Fair, uh, who's next up to bat. We'll start him on a fastball. That one's good. Yeah. There we go. Oh, no, no you, you'd already tagged them. Oh, oh well. Well, we got the tag out, and that's something. So, uh, tag the runner going to third. And that's now runners first and second. And this is Turner Heaps. Turner Heaps. Oh, he was well late on that one. Uh, that's uh, strike one. Uh, we'll throw a change up in for strike two. Yeah, he's missed that as well. And then, uh, I don't know, about here, maybe. Ball one. Hey, he wasn't being fooled by that in the slightest. He's got a bit of that. And uh, that's going to be strike two. Ball one. Well, uh, a successful pitch here. And that's the end of this batter. And there it is. Uh... Oh, <laughs> the look on Margot's face there. My goodness me, she... Filthy mood. Anyway, it's going to be Cindy Vapid, who is our new opening batter. And, uh, I mean, she did a pretty good job uh, with that last time round. And uh, that's ball one. And that's ball two. And that's strike one. Yeah, OK, all right, I'll allow that. And that's ball three. Cindy not being phased by any of this. Uh, she had a swing at that. That's the full count now. Three and two. Shouldn't have swung at that. She would have got a walk. Instead, she gets to walk back to the dugout. Head hung in shame. And here's Bingo Hazmat. Six home runs for Bingo so far this season. He is, uh, is proving his, uh, his place in the team is, is no mistake. Although that said, he's popped that one up. Yeah, see, I mean that. I mean that could have been that could have been called really in advance. It was going too high. He could have left it alone. That's out number two, and his uh, fan favourite Bam Bam Puckeye. Uh, although Bam Bam, uh, her number one spot has somewhat been eroded by Veronica Hammock's performance last week. Strike one, ball one, ball two. 
And she's hit that one nicely to centre field. Bam Bam will get on base. Well, that's our first base hit today. And hooray for that, because we need that kind of thing. Is Shamrock Bubble Jet. Uh, he's quite reliable at getting on base, but he doesn't really knock the runs in so often. And uh, that's fine. We like people who get on base. And that's ball one. Yeah, he's, uh, he's looking looking for a looking for a pitch he likes the looks of. Like that one, for instance. Uh, ball two, strike one now. That's strike two, apparently. I did. I did uh, something about this pitcher is uh, is not making it easy to get a read on where the ball's going. And that will retire the side. Uh, two hits for the Ocelots. One hit for Bulldozer Power. And that's the uh, the second inning as Hypno Toad, uh, an old school player uh, in the uh, Electro Sports League, uh, makes his first appearance for the Ocelots today. And that one's gone to Tintin, who will quite happily run him out to first. Jolly good. Now batting, Sit yourself down. Uh, his brash witness, who is, uh, well, uh, he's, he's a baseball player, so, uh, you know, one would imagine he'd, he'd have some inkling of what he's doing. He left that one quite wisely. That's ball one. That one's probably a little low. Yes, yeah, it is. That's ball two. Margo needs to focus in now. Strike one. That's more like it. And uh, she's got a good a good selection of pitches at her disposal. That's ball three. She needs to keep the rest of these in the zone. Strike two. <laughs> oh, that was only just in the zone, that one. Goodness me. Playing it fast and loose with uh, legit uh, pitching there. Bam Bam's got it. Throws to first. And that's out. Uh, waste of, took a lot of pitches to get that out there, but uh, we got it anyway. Here's Yvonne you, Luna. Yvonne. Luna. It's Yvonne Luna, everybody. And uh, she plays baseball. No, no position. Left field. From left field is Yvonne Luna, everybody. And uh, she's batting now. Strike two. Uh, went for a completely stupid pitch there, but uh, that's fine by me. She's got that one away. Shamrock dives. Doesn't get to it. Bam Bam does. Throws to first, and that's out number three. Side retired. No further hits there from the Ocelots. And... Uh, Veronica Hammock, a uh, hero from last week, and she is jacked. Yes. Uh, I presume that's a good thing. 27 feet tall, Veronica Hammock. Oh, that's not gone. That has not gone well. She got, I mean, she got good contact on it, but it went straight to the pitcher and she's out. Here's Ulysses Failure, who, uh, who has been playing quite well in his, uh, in his clean-up position. Obviously, today, there's not a lot to flip it. Uh, to uh, to clean up as he gets caught out swinging at the first pitch. Uh, this brings up our, our last gasp for now. It's Trace Attitude, uh, the replacement catcher. And that's ball one. Trace Attitude not convinced that that was... Oh, no, she's out as well. Well, it's a, I know this is a quick game, this one. That's out number three. Uh, still scoreless as we head into the third inning where Trevor Lafayette is first up to bat. That's the pitcher, obviously. And they're keeping him in. Obviously, with scores tied, there's there's nothing to lose by uh, keeping your... Oh, flipping it! Come on! Chuck it! Oh, no, yeah. An error there by the pitcher. Could have been a good fielding miracle or something. Uh, but it wasn't. So, uh, as you were. And uh, we let the pitcher get on base. Whew, that one was hit with a rocket. It's Nova Wild again for a second at bat today. And uh, that first one went foul. Second one has gone foul. Uh, see if we can't catch her out with a change-up. Nope, that one's, that one's gone foul as well. Let's uh, try the try the speed ball here. Well, that's up in the air. And, uh, and that's all good. It's going to be caught by Shamrock, who has called for it very clearly. Chucks it to first, just to be on the safe side. But uh, sit down. So, one out, and, uh, and it's Wiley Lansley again, uh, the third base player. Because, uh, obviously, you've, you've got to have several base players on the team. Because, uh, well, you do. Uh, there was a, there was another gag in there somewhere. Didn't quite get to it. Neither did Cindy on that ball. Uh, nice hit there. And that will uh, load up first and second as we, uh, as we bring up Alejandro Tannen. The glorious Alejandro Tannen. Not got so much of his hair these days. But who needs hair? Strike one. And a nice pitch there to uh, to fool the batter. Strike two. Can we finish them off? Yes, we can. 
Strike three, and that's another strikeout there. Or it might be the first strikeout. It's a strikeout, no matter how you look at it. And uh, that's got to be improving the mood of Margot Spatula, who is no longer feeling tense about today's game. Wallop! That one's in the sky. Uh, well, unless Sydney makes a complete mess of this, that's done. Side retired. Scores remain tied as we head into the bottom of the third inning. And it is Tintin Hollywood, who's had a bit of a surge in form in the last couple of games. Uh, we'll just have to see how he does today. Well, he certainly introduced himself to that ball with a bat. But, oh, very nearly caught out, but wasn't. He swung at that one, shouldn't have, is going to be caught. Uh, again, Tintin going for the fences uh, from, uh, from the first moment at the plate, but ultimately not doing so well out of that is Margot. Uh, she's going to have a go at uh, a bit of batting. Very nice. Margot, first pitch, gets it away to centre field and that will get her on base. One out, round to the top of the starting of the batting of the order and it's Cindy of the Vapid uh, who will be hoping for a slightly better performance in, uh, in this at bat. No, no, she's not only going to get herself out but a teammate as well. Well done, Cindy. You are the star player of that innings. And that brings up inning number four. And it's Turner Heaps, the second baseman, who's uh, uh, batting 250 so far this season. He certainly looks quite confident, although I'm not entirely sure that's warranted with mutton chop sidebirds like that. Uh, yeah, but hey, look, you know, if, it, if he feels confident as a result... What do you mean fair? Come off it, ump! Which is what you call people. Oh, no. No, I'm not pleased about that. Well, I, well it's a two-base hit there. It's uh, arguably quite disastrous. Uh, no outs. Two, uh, one runner on base, and he's on second at the moment. We'll, uh, we'll just have to play this a little bit better. Failure's making a big run. He's making a big run. He's going to get there. And that's an out. Uh, we got Cheeky Bug is running to... Sorry, Cheeky uh, Chat. Oh, an unforced error. He's thrown the ball out of play, and that's going to result in a run. Well, my goodness me, how wall gracious. A great play followed by a complete disaster. And, uh, well, that's, I need to move my microphone a little bit further away. I'm shouting. Yes, uh, well, it caught me by surprise. Uh, terrible fielding there and great fielding at the same time. You rarely see that. He's throwing the pitcher off a game as well. That's, uh, that's now strike one, ball one. That's, that's gone foul this time, although they're playing it a little bit fast and loose with what is actually foul. I may have to lodge a complaint uh, with the league. Anyway, that's out number two. Another strikeout there for Margot Spatula. And uh, with two outs, Luna, Yvonne. Yvonne Luna. Put the order of the names in whatever makes you comfortable. Uh, she's now up to bat. Shamrock with the dive. Nice throw to first. And that's the side retired. Bulldozer power there, stopping what could have been the start of the rot setting in as Bingo Hazmat approaches the tee. Uh, he's got himself a seven iron. And he's put that one up in the centre field. Jolly good show. Bingo Hazmat gets on base, uh, which is a good way to start the inning, but of course it is only the start of the inning. Uh, but here comes Jam Jam Bam Jam Bam 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 Pow Pow. Poo -poo -poo. Puck eye. And, uh, and she's going to have a go. Not at that one, though. It's too high by a long way. And that one was too wide. And the third bowl of porridge was equally undesirable. That's ball three. And uh, Bam Bam gets a walk. Uh, she lets it ride and, uh, and gets herself on base. No outs, batters, runners, all of them on, uh, on the first and second base now. As, uh, as Shamrock comes up to say howdy. He goes say howdy with a baseball bat. Now it's gone high and somewhat long, but he's going to get caught. Everybody go home. There you go. That's out number one. Very disappointing, but uh, because he got some distance under it, he didn't manage to get two outs there. Uh, here's Veronica. Caught out by the third baseman on her first at bat. Uh, hopefully, uh, her little feet will carry her to glory this time round. Strike one. Oh, yeah, I suppose it was. And it's up to centre field, and that's enough to load up the bases, uh, which brings up failure with the opportunity 
uh, to bask in the glory of absolutely all of the things that can be glorious. Uh, the pressure on him is absolutely uh, uh, tension-inducing. He's got it away. It's a good hit. It's a good hit. It's a good hit. It's a grand slam. Ulysses failure. New cleanup batter for Bulldozer Power has uh, uh, smacked in four runs in one with his sixth home run of the season. And that is Bulldozer Power marking their return to form momentarily. Uh, here's Trace Attitude, and uh, uh, she can uh, do what she likes, really. But all right, you can miss by about three and a half minutes. And out. Okay, all right, good. All right, stop with the overconfidence. Here's, uh, here's Tintin. Over for one so far today. Uh, return to form lately. Tinted Hollywood. Was a disaster. Less of a disaster these days. Uh, left that one alone. Perhaps unwisely. Left that one alone. Wisely. And that's a good hit. And that's uh, going to go out to right field. Allowing Tintin to advance to first base. And here comes Margot for her second at bat. No pressure. Doesn't really matter if we're in, out. Or indeed shaking it all about as a result of this. And that's out. We'll shake it all about maybe a bit later. But uh, a successful fourth inning there for Bulldozer Power means that they now lead four runs to one. As uh, Trevor Lafayette is up, now, I wonder if he'll be subbed. Seven, no, they're sticking with him. Oh, that's bold. All right, okay, well, fair enough. I mean, I suppose that's fair enough. He did get on base last time round, so, uh, you know, that's... It might not be a bad call. A strike two. He didn't even look at that one. Uh, bless you there, uh, Margo. Yeah, she's uh, got allergies. Didn't get very far. Might be far enough. Wasn't far enough, and that's out number one. Now batting number 37, the right fielder. Uh, another wild now, back up to bat. 136 for the season is abysmal. How she's still allowed to hold a bat, I have no idea at all. Uh, she clearly sucks. At baseball. She's obviously brilliant at absolutely everything else. Uh, because I'm contractually obliged to say so. Right, there we go. Let's uh, see. And that one's gone straight to Tintin. And that's out number two. Bringing up Wiley Lansley. Uh, he's a dashing, dapper kind of a chapper. Uh, with his batter and his flapper. Don't know what that means. hi -yah! No, no, there was... No, no, yeah, happened there. That's going to be enough to get him to second base. Uh, a nice hit there. Bingo couldn't quite get to it. Um, I was trying some kind of jumping dive time kind of thing uh, with Shamrock, but nothing happened. So I guess that doesn't really count. Uh, this is Alejandro up for his uh, third go to try and do something. He's got a nice piece of that that's gone up to centre field. This could be a yeah. He's going for base. He's going for home. Throw the ball. Nope. And that's a run. Oh, dearie me. It's Tyree Fair. And uh, he's... Uh, you know, throw second. You're... Flipping out. Well, okay. I guess the, uh, uh, the, the bribed referees have, uh, have, have decided uh, to just allow any old rubbish today. Strike two. Margo now with the option for heroics. Okay, Margo here with the option for heroics. Okay, well, here's Margo, and she's got the option for heroics. And there it is, heroics from Margo. Side retired. Margo's still in a filthy mood. Uh, but uh, that brings up Bulldozer Power, and they're still ahead. Four runs to two, but we're going to need to start playing a little bit better. It's Cindy Vapid. She's done nothing for herself or the team so far today. I think she also dropped a catch earlier on. Well, she hasn't dropped that catch. That's gone a nice distance up to the fence. She's going to go for two bases. Is she going to make it? Yes. And a double base hit there for uh, Cindy Vapid. Uh, marking a slight return to the kind of form that allows her to be our lead-off batter. As uh, Bingo Hazmat now comes up, hoping to capitalise. And that's ball number one. He's hit that one well. And that's going to be good enough for him to get two bases and for us to get a run. Uh, which is super stuff. Bordeaux of Power there increasing their lead by one. 
as uh, Bam Bam Park Eye, with a single and a walk so far today, is uh, taking to the mound of the plate. The plate is not the mound, they're two different things. The pitcher stands on the mound. I don't know why he has a special pile of dirt to stand on, he could stand on the flat, but hey, you know, it's, uh, it's traditional and a rule and things. Oh, late swing at that one, got it, but uh, it was a bit late. And then uh, optimistically swinging at something that's going to get her out. And she is. So uh, Bam Bam there caught out in centre field. But uh, that's only the first out of the inning so far. Bringing up Shamrock Bubble Jet, who hasn't managed to get on base yet today. But uh, uh, we live in hope that he'll remember what he's supposed to be doing. That's pretty good. Uh, another forced error, an unforced error there. Could have probably gone for a run, but I left it alone. Yeah, did. I left that one alone. Didn't decided not to run for it. As uh, as Veronica's back up, and uh, they're making a pitching change. It's Ken Bree. Smells of cheese comes on. Starting with a fairly cheesy pitch there, and uh, and another one as well. There's a there's a nice in swinging pitch, but uh, it was rubbish, frankly. Ball three now. Strike one. And uh, Veronica gets to stroll up to uh, to first base, which brings up Ulysses' failure, and the bases are loaded again. Well, here's an opportunity. It's high. It's not long enough. It, uh, well, if it's high enough, it will be, but it isn't. It's not. It wasn't there. No, didn't make it. He went for the fence again. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? But uh, he didn't manage that one. Here's Trace Attitude. Massive opportunity for Bulldozer Power here. And that's ball two. Strike two. Oh, uh, no, it's ball one. Beg your pardon. Strike two, ball one. There's ball two. She's put it away, but it's not gone far enough. And she's out. That run won't count. Uh, and that was only one run there for Bulldozer Power, despite the fact that they have bases loaded at the end. What an F, what a S. We've seen it before. I imagine we'll see it again. Uh, but uh, we, uh, we saw it there. Margot's starting to look a little bit tired now, but we'll, we'll keep her in a little bit longer and see what she can make out of this. Obviously, once the errors start cropping up, she will find herself sitting down. But as so far... Yet, we are then. Good. That made sense. Uh, here we go. This is uh, Hypno Toad back up for, a, for another swing of the bat. No, that was, that was ball one. That one really didn't have much on it. And uh, it looks like Margot's getting very tired indeed. There's ball two. Uh, even that one didn't work. Okay. Oh, dear. That's an easy pitch. And uh, Hypno Toad there. Capital. Oh, and he manages a two-base hit out of it. Potentially a three-base hit if he's feeling very dicey. But he isn't. Well, you have to answer us. Uh, well, you have to answer the question. But before you can do that, you have to ask the question. Is it time to substitute Margot Spatula? Strike one. That was nice. But I put that one firmly uh, as the responsibility of the batter. That one's gone foul. She can do a bit of cleaning up here. This would be good. That one's gone backwards and over and upwards. And indeed, sideways. Well, another strikeout for Margot. Well, it's, uh, it's surprising. Though she is tired. And here's uh, Yvonne Luna again. Uh, she's got an expression that says, I'm going to hit you, ball. Uh, and uh, the question is, will she? She has done. Hasn't gone far enough, though. Veronica's underneath it. And that is the side retired and uh, Bulldozer Power maintaining a three-run lead into the bottom of the inning that we are in, which is the sixth inning of this Tintin Hollywood. A big in-swinging low ball there. Tintin has a pop at that one, but he goes into the crowd. He has a pop at that one. It might do the numbers. It's not doing the numbers, and uh, Tintin can sit himself down. Uh, here comes uh, here comes Margot, and she's going to be substituted because she's getting a little bit tired, and that's fine. And oh well, should we go, Jemima? Yeah, let's go for it. Jemima Hertz is coming in for uh, Margot Spatula. 
she's been relatively successful as a uh, as a relief batter. I know, it's, well, it's a pinch hitter, I guess you call it. There we go. And a nice hit there. That's going to be enough for two runs. Well, two bases, which is running twice. So you can argue, you can argue that that is something, or not. Uh, here's Cindy Vapid. She uh, redeemed herself a little with her last play. Uh, let's see what she can do out of this one. Nope, swung at a stupid pitch there, and uh, now we'll we'll back up because that's going to be caught. All right? Yeah. Could have left that one alone. Decided not to bother. Here's Bingo. Bingo's in a good mood. He's at a double and a single and batted a run in so far today. That's uh, that's a good sign. Smack. And champagne. Home run there for Bingo. And uh, that's another two runs for Bulldozer Power who, uh, who extend their lead. A 427 foot home run. I, I can't say it's 427 yards. It's not yards, it's feet. It's uh, quite a few fewer uh, yards than that but a good result nonetheless ball one for Bam Bam she's gone for that and it's gone to midfield so, uh, so that's that's jolly good Bam Bam advancing to first well excellent that's, uh, that's a good result there here's Shamrock Bubble Jet uh, it's one of three 6.25 for the season usually quite reliable two outs at the uh, bottom of the sixth he's gone for it it's gone long and high is it long enough Yes, another two runs for Bulldogs of Power. Shamrock Bobberjet, Bobberjet, with uh, with an uns uh, with some thing where the ball and the fence and over that and into the uh, dustbin of victory. Uh, as uh, as Veronica Hammock comes up, she's on fire. She's uh, had a single and a walk at uh, as her results today, which is good. Uh, in a mock batting, she was predicted to get uh, two A's and a B. And uh, that's pretty much what she's had now. Now batting, number 32. His failure up, up again. He's only one of three today, but that one was a good one. Uh, two home runs so far this inning. Failure's going to get caught, and that's the side retired. But uh, plenty of damage done there as a, uh, as a pitching change is required. And it is Tulip Banter up in the relief pitching opportunity wing. Is it really? We round to Tulip again already. Okay, all right, fine. All right, well, Tulip banter, everybody, uh, coming up. Kim Bree, first up to bat. Uh, he's tense, but still largely fit. He's leaving the field, and Wally King is coming on in his place. Uh, good for Wally. It's, it's nice to see Wally still being allowed to bat, even at the ripe old age of 312. And he's out. Didn't quite get there with his zipper frame. Uh, needed a little bit more time. Anyway, Nova Wild back round in the rotation again. Zero for three uh, in the game so far. And that one's gone foul. It comes in the slider. Out from the right-hand side. That's good. Gone to Cindy. Cindy actually manages to keep a glove on this one, and that's been thrown to first for out number two. And here's Wiley Lansley, who is 100% uh, in the ball game so far today. Uh, it's very tempting to make sure that he can't get to this one. But no, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can't uh, can't demolish him in the old-fashioned way. Uh-oh. Oh, he left it. Oh, that's foolish. That was an absolutely dreadful pitch. Here comes pitch number three. Ball one. Didn't quite have enough zip on that one. And that's good. He's got that one up the centre field. Wiley is pretty much holding this team together on himself with his, um, with his hands. And a, and a roll of gaffer tape uh, as uh, as Alejandro comes up as well. And this this middle order in the batting for the uh, for the ocelots is actually pretty strong. No one's going for that one. I'm going to throw straight to third, and hopefully it doesn't error this time. There you go. Shamrock keeping a glove on that, and that's all good. Uh, here's Tyree Fair. His uh, his mood is somewhat diminished by the fact that he has been absolutely dreadful today. Strike one. Uh, the dread continues. Strike two, the dread strikes back. And that was too that was too high. Okay, no, that's fine. We'll, we'll we'll put this one in the same place. There we go. Swung at that, and he's out. There we go. A strike out there for Tulip Banter, and uh, that's the side side. Wally King uh, being substituted for Michael South, who will be coming in at uh, relief pitcher. 
And at the, uh, as we head into the bottom of the seventh inning, it is the Ocelots 2, Bulldozer Power 9. It's Trace Attitude. It's Trace flipping, hits the ball a long way. Good attitude there from Trace, and she's going to get to second base off the strength of that one. And that's a fine way to, uh, to open the account here in this, the seventh inning. It's Tintin. Wallop, wasting no time. He's going to get himself out. No, he's going to get Trace out. He's going to stay in. Okay, well, that could have been worse. Uh, might have been. Wasn't worse. Here's Tulip Batter. Hi, oh, goodness me. She is ferocious. Uh, is she a batter, though? Well, not on, not on the basis of that, she isn't. No, 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 not that one either. Yeah, leave that one alone. Strike two, apparently. Okay, fair enough. I'll allow it. Well, that one didn't go very far. That's going to be a double play. And that's the side retired. But uh, with the with the level of uh, lead that we have right now and the performance that the defence has been putting in, uh, that's, that's not the end of the world. Obviously, everything could change. But one small inning... Uh, but uh, but at the moment, everything is looking mediocre. Chip looking a little tense. Strike two there. That's nice. And here comes a fastball. And one's gone foul. And there's strike three. Sit yourself down. Trace giving a wink uh, to a catcher there. Uh, no, it's tr Trace is the catcher. Tulip is the, is the pitcher. Oh, well, if, they, if their names will insist on beginning with T. I mean, it's inevitable. I'm going to mistake them for one another. Is it? No, it's not. It's just lazy on my part. Yes, it is, isn't it? Okay, right, there we go. So, uh, whoa, Cindy with a bit of a dive. Uh, but that's a nice hit, and that's going to get them to second base. Didn't see who it was. Don't really care. Uh, but uh, a nice two-base hit there. So that's uh, one out here at the top of the eight inning. And uh, Brash Witness is up next. Uh, let's see if he can, see if he can witness a strike. He's known he's not going to get a chance. As Kite Drumpf comes in. Kite there. Uh, she's with a, with a sassy wiggle, but it's not going to work on Tulip. Uh, she uh, she doesn't care for your sass there, lady. Uh, and uh, she is going to throw the ball straight at you if you, uh, if you step out of line. And that one's gone foul. Remember, they have a runner on second. And that's another strikeout. And uh, Tulip now, uh, she's really starting to get her eye in and her arm and the ball, all of them in a line uh, to get the kind of result that we want from her pitching. Strike one, beautifully placed uh, right in the most difficult corner. That one was hit foul. That's because it was only in the second most difficult corner. And that one's gone reasonably long. Bingo's going to get to it and throw to third. But uh, the damage is done. Runner's now first and third. Oh, OK. Well, these things happen. Here's Michael South. We haven't seen much of Michael yet. He's only done... Uh, he's, he's, he's a... F oh, no, never mind. No, he's a pitcher. And Samuel Cruz is coming on in his place. Samuel Cruz, what a, what a nice beard. Yes. He's only little, though. Little, little Sam Cruz and his magic beard. Oh, and throw to home. And it's not good enough. And we should have just thrown the first and got the out. Uh, but another error in judgment there. I wasn't wholly certain what was going on as Nova Wild comes up for her fourth at bat. And quite how she has not found herself substituted is beyond me. Because, uh, look, that, that just happened. Cindy's under it. No mistakes. Cindy Vapid. Quick catch. Sam Cruz sitting down. And it's uh, Lynn Feynman who's coming in to, uh, to uh, pitch. As uh, Cindy Bat Vapid will be first up. Not so great uh, at the plate today. She had a double, and that's good. But uh, not so great overall. No. no, that one didn't do anything. And that one didn't do anything. So that's ball two. That was a bit low, but she went for it anyway, and that's going to be good enough for her to get on base. Cindy there, acquitting herself well, and uh, helping the team out by uh, not getting out. Well done. Excellent work. Uh, here's Bingo, who's having a tremendous time of the day today, uh, which is always a bad idea, because it means that uh, this evening he's going to tear up the town. 
by which he's going to he's going to go to the bar and play Settlers of Catan until almost one o'clock in the morning. That's nice, or is it? It is nice. Well, that's good. Uh, bingo there, getting on base. Runners now first and second. No outs for Bulldozer Power. And here comes Bam Bam. Uh, two singles and a walk for her today. Quite a quiet day for Bam Bam, but uh, successful nonetheless. Uh, so that's ball one. She's doing what has become known as the Bam Bam Hustle. They're waiting for the pitches to come in. Ball three. Bam Bam not phased by any of this, of course. Always leave strike one if you've got ball three. And that brings up the full count. It's high. It's got some momentum. Is it enough? It's not enough. She's out. Uh, very deep on the field. Uh, another oh, know, five feet. Another five feet would have done it. Uh, bam, bam there. You can't fault the enthusiasm. You can fault the execution. Here's Shamrock Bubble Jets. And no. No, nothing there. Nothing on that one. Shamrock not interested. Is interested in that. He hasn't put enough on it. He's going to get caught in centre field. And that will be out number two. It's only out number two. We're all right. That's okay. Keep it going. Keep it coming. You know, make it happen. It's all right. We're not going any further. Carry on. Here's Veronica. Uh, she's still in a fine mood. Uh, two singles and a walk today. And uh, she's definitely establishing herself as a, uh, a must-have uh, first-team player. Zoltan, Zoltan, nowhere to be seen. That's uh, strike one. Ball one now. She's wang that one down the line, which apparently if the other team had done it would be allowed, but not for Veronica. So she answers that with a big slap in. Hit over the fence. Three runs for Bulldozer Power there. And surely this is an unassailable lead with only one inning left to play uh, for the Ocelots. That's Veronica's fourth home run this season. Uh, failure with the opportunity to be the hero previously messed it up. He's uh, one heroic so far. Flipping out, that was a bit close, wasn't it? Take it easy. Uh, he's, uh, he's punished that one, but at this stage, it really doesn't matter. He's going to get himself out there. It's only, it's only your batting... St oh, no, he's safe. I forget. You forget, of course. He may look like an old man, but he's also the fastest runner on the team. Is uh, Ulysses failure and a pitching change is occurring. Uh, line Feynman is sitting down. Or Finneman. I, uh, you can decide for yourself. As, uh, as Quash Sierra is coming on instead. Okay, Quash. Right. Ball one there. It's a trace attitude. And now one's going to go foul. Okay. All right. It's allowed. We don't mind that. Um, no. Okay, well, that's the side retired. And uh, another three runs for BDP means that uh, it's now 12 plays three and the Ocelots have but one inning in order to redeem themselves. And by redeem, I mean keep themselves in the game. If they do poorly here, they're out of it. Well, that's a good place to start there with a, a, a swing and a miss. And there's a ball. Uh, it looked legit to me. Obviously, they've uh, re-upped their bribery of the uh, umpiring staff. Uh, maybe I should throw the umpire's face. That's a terrible pitch. Uh, Cindy's there, though, making amends for her earlier slip-up, and that's out number one. As Alejandro Talon uh, approaches the plate, well, he, he's, he's there already. He's, he's finished approaching. He has now arrived at the plate. He's waggling his bat. And that's ball number one. He continues to waggle. Ball two. Uh-oh, it looks like your pitcher is very tired. Thank you. Look, I want her to... It, just get off. Get, 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 just... Thank you. Well, it looks like the pitcher is very tired. Can Tulip wrap up the game? We're going to give her the opportunity for heroics here. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. That's Bam Bam. Frankly, the rest of the team can carry Tulip, providing she doesn't give up too many hits. And that, uh, that's exactly what's happening now. Uh, the fielding staff... Ah, fielding stuff. Strike one. Beautiful work. Ah, uh, that was a great pitch. Chili Panzer now. Potentially two pitches away from glory. Well, she doesn't need two pitches. It's only going to take one. Bam Bam's got to that one. Thrown to first. Side to side. Bulldogs power win. Uh, a slightly closer game than last week, but still quite an easy game. Uh, but it was against one of the worst teams in the league. And uh, that's super. Uh, Bulldozer Power not needing the ninth thing in the game. 
because they've already done enough damage for today. Uh, there's some numbers, and they all look reasonably promising. Uh, any outstanding Veronica Hammock 688 on the day. Very nice. Uh, Lafayette is awarded the loss. Congratulations to them. Uh, Margot gets the win with a save by Tulip Banter. And your three stars are Bingo Hazmat, Veronica Hammock and Ulysses Failure, all of whom had a respectable time. Uh, Failure, you could argue, didn't. Uh, only two for five uh, for his at-bats today. But even so, uh, a lot of runs batted in, including a grand slam. And that's, that's grand. And slamming. Well, that means it's time to catch up on the other results from around the league. Brace yourselves, they're coming thick and fast. As the Kings take in on Bumson Hospital, and uh, the Kings with a lead going into the final inning, and they walk away with it 10-6. to six. Uh, Cheerio Incorporated taking on the Pirates. Uh, Cheerio making light work of them. The Steganauts are playing Failure Grad FC, and Failure Grad get the job done. Uh, the Bloody Jesters versus the Seven of Niners, and uh, the Niners managed to blow a five-run lead to lose it 12 to 5. Only a few games to catch up on this week. Bulldozer of Power now 3 and 5 for the season. Uh, one game behind Bumson Hospital. Two games behind the Steganauts. Five games behind Cheerio Incorporated, who are still yet to be defeated this season, demonstrating that they are the team to be beaten this season because they haven't been beaten this, this season. Okay, we all got that. Everybody clear? Yeah? Yeah, everybody got that? Good, good. Cheerio Inc., they're doing quite nicely. That's a shame, because they're in my division. We're going to need to do something about that. Uh, anyway, FC Failure Grad are leading the way in the smoothing division. Hong Kong Kings in the tree gun and in the bombastic. It is the Nomads who are the top of the tree. I'll be back soon with the next one in the series. Uh, I hope you tune in for that, because things are getting frisky. I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Now, if I recorded these bits immediately after recording the uh, the, the old the old game there, I'd, I'd remember whether I'd put it on 48 ego or 49. Pretty sure it was 48. And uh, well, we 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 walked all over him again. I mean, it was aided by the fact that we actually played defensively a little bit better than usual. Yeah, yeah that's good. Um, but even so, the, the margin of victory is a little higher than than I'd like. Uh, no edge of your seat kind of last inning going on there. Um, so I'm going to ramp the difficulty to 49 because 50 puts us back where we started. Uh, maybe I will go to 50. Maybe I feel feel lucky. Maybe I feel like my skills have improved. I don't know. Oh, well, I, we'll find the sweet spot. It's probably 51 or something daft. Uh, or I could just, you know, learn to learn to defend a little bit better. Anyway, the season is uh, is around midway through. Oh, which means that everything is still to play for potentially. Uh, we've just got to uh, to knock the uh, knock the top pegging team there down a few rungs, which is a mixed metaphor for the ages. <laughs>